Hi everyone, my name is Carol Hoffman and I am running for an open seat on the Board of Directors for Weaver Street Market as a consumer owner. I'd like to share with you a little bit about me and why I've chosen to run. For the last 30 or so years, I've had a strong interest in natural health and the alternative healthcare industry. And for the last 20 years, I have worked professionally in the natural health industry, 10 years uh, in the nutritional supplement industry, and then 10 years as a holistic health provider, which is what I do now. So health is my passion. I've always been very service oriented. And now that I'm working only part-time as I'm semi-retired and loving it, I have more time to devote to giving back to the community and helping people, serving them. Uh, right now, I am volunteering at the Hillsborough uh, Community Garden. I'm volunteering at the Hillsborough Arts Council. I'm learning to become a master gardener so I can help beautify our community. And I would love to be a member on the board of directors at Weaver Street Market. It surprises me that although the membership currently on the board is pretty diverse, there's no one with a strong background in natural health and nutrition. So going onto the board would allow me to offer a new and very valuable perspective. In my work, I have seen the sad result of people who have eaten the typical American diet their whole life, and it's making them very, very sick. A lot of people shop at low and grocery stores, don't even know that there's anything that exists. They don't know the difference between the kind of food that low and grocery stores offer and the kind of foods that Weaver Street Market offers. Many of those people don't even know about Weaver Street Market. Even if they passed the stores every day, they've never even stopped in. I would like to help change that. And some of the ways that we can do that perhaps is developing a greater awareness of, of the public uh, that these stores exist, that Weaver Street Market exists. And one of those ways could be potentially becoming more of an educational resource. For instance, having monthly uh, lectures, people coming in like someone from Joe Van Gogh Coffee. They're right in Hillsborough, uh, maybe talking about where they source their beans and a little bit about roasting their beans. They make fantastic coffee. Uh, it could be a local beekeeper talking about the business of keeping bees and how healthy local honey is, especially for allergies. Or first-hand foods, sausages, which you can find at Weaver Street Market. I love them. They are right in North Carolina, so a local company. Maybe they can come in and talk about how they raise their pigs and how in the world they make their sausages so fantastic. They are the best sausages I have ever had. You've got to try them. Another way of maybe bringing more of awareness into the general public about Weaver Street Market is for the co-op to host more local events. Maybe events that <clears throat> the general public that don't already shop at Weaver Street Market may be attracted to. These are just some ways that we can help to grow the customer base of Weaver Street, grow the awareness, and help them um, grow much bigger in the future. Because I want Weaver Street Market not just to survive, but to thrive for the long term, because all of our health depends on it. So that's a little bit about me. If you'd like to learn more, please read my bio on the webpage, or you can shoot me an email, which I think is also on the webpage. I'll be happy to answer it and answer your questions. Uh, and I hope to see you in the stores. If you see me in the store, please come up and say hello. Thanks again for taking the time and take care.